being extremely intellectual and extrovert, though the division of the humanity into these human inner personality into the three types, the sattvic, the rajasic and the tamasic, Arjuna has not got a clear picture. So in the 16 and 17 chapters, Krishna is demonstrating, illustrating the three types. According to the Bhagavad Gita, human beings in action, not as inner personality. Inner personality, they had divided them into the three, the sattvic, the rajasic and the tamasic. But in their expression, as they function in the world outside, they function as three distinct types. The divinely sweet and good, the devas, unfortunately fallen, slipped and fallen, asuras, and incorrigibly indifferent, the rakshas. Rakshasa, the word, comes from a peculiar con reconstruction of a Sanskrit word. Akshara in Sanskrit means alphabets. So an individual who has education, well educated, he is called Sakshara. He has got Akshara Jnana, he has got the knowledge of the letters. He has got the alphabet, let, knowledge of the alphabet. Knowledge of the alphabet doesn't mean only alphabets. He has some control over the language. The word is sakshara. Sakshara in Sanskrit means educated man. Read it as you read Arabic. Sakshara. Ra, cha, sa. So an educated man, highly educated man, behaves as though he is an illiterate and a barbarous fool. Such an individual is called a rakshas. If the individual himself is incorrigibly indifferent to anything of the higher, not that he doesn't know, he knows it, but he has not the ability to stay with it. He is not, he is indifferent, tamasic. They are called a rakshas. 